Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious spinach artichoke dip and I'm going to pair it with um, some herb and Parmesan cheese toasted baguettes. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So first up, we're going to cook your artichokes. Get a decent sized stock pot. Fill it about three quarters of the way with water. Um, add about a pinch of salt and then you're just going to weight the top of the artichokes down with a bowl or if you have a lid for your stock pot, just uh, cover them up and you're going to cook these for about 30 minutes. All right, so it's just been a few minutes past the half hour mark. I'm gonna pull my artichokes out of my boiling water, um, let them cool down for at least a half hour before I start peeling the leaves off. Uh, one good way to tell if they're done is if you just tug on a leaf, it should just fall right off without a struggle. But once that's done and they're cooled down, you just start taking all the leaves off all the way down to the center of the artichoke heart, uh, which is actually the choke of the artichoke. And you're just going to take a spoon and simply scoop it out. If you've cooked it well enough, it should be pretty tender and you should, uh, it shouldn't have any trouble taking this little hairy bit out. But like I said, it should be pretty easy. And once that's done, you're just going to repeat the process with the rest of the artichokes. After all the artichoke hearts are removed um, and the, uh, the hair has been all scraped out, I like to reserve as much of the stem as possible and just clean it up because I think there's some pretty good meat there. Um, but once that's done, you're just going to simply slice up the artichokes, dice them to your liking. I like, you know, chunky artichoke dices in my spinach artichoke dip just because I really like to see the actual ingredients in the dip and uh, it actually yields just a really delicious buttery artichoke flavor throughout the dip. After that, I'm going to slice up some baby spinach that I quickly blanched and pressed, and uh, this is going to go in the dip later on at the very end, otherwise it'll just turn brown. Uh, once that's done, you're going to get a medium saute pan, put it on medium to high heat, add some butter to it, and you're going to make a very simple roux just by adding some all-purpose flour, and you're going to cook this for about three to four minutes. After that, you're going to add your artichoke hearts. And that's just going to start imparting that delicious buttery artichoke flavor right off the bat with this dip. Once that's done, you're going to add some milk to it and continue to cook this mixture for another three to four minutes. Just make sure you give it a good stir in between. You're also going to add some Parmesan cheese to this. It's also going to help thicken it along with some really, really good English cheddar cheese, uh, which is going to maintain the color of the spinach artichoke dip along with adding a wonderful sharp flavor to it. Um, after that you're going to add some garlic powder and some onion powder um, followed by some salt and some cracked black pepper and then you're going to add your baby spinach that's all sliced up and then last but not least you're going to finish it off with a good helping of cream cheese. Give it a good stir uh, once that's done you're going to add it to um, a nice little casserole dish or clay pot or just really whatever container that's bake safe. Uh, top it off with some more Parmesan cheese and then you're gonna throw it into a 500 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just so it develops a wonderful golden brown crust. All right, so while you're waiting for spinach artichoke dip to bake in the oven, I'm gonna take some rosemary and some thyme, peel off the leaves straight off the stem, give this a very fine chop, um, and then reserve until I'm ready to use. Once that's done, I'm gonna pull out my baguette, slice it all the way across, but make sure not to slice it all the way through because I'm gonna keep this all together. Um, I'm gonna bake this baguette as a whole, but um, at the end, it's almost gonna be this uh, herb and Parmesan cheese crusted uh, pull apart bread. It's just gonna be a nice little presentation and a fun way to eat spinach artichoke dip. You're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil right on the top, uh, top it off with the herbs, a little bit of salt and cracked black pepper. And of course, I'm gonna shave some fresh Parmesan cheese right on top. Put this in a baking tray and put it in the 500 degree oven to bake for about five minutes. Alright, so once your artichoke dip is just beautifully golden brown and bubbling, take it out of the oven, uh, put it straight down on your dinner table or your coffee table, pull out that delicious toasted baguette, and all there is to do is enjoy a delicious spinach artichoke dip that's paired with a stellar herb and parmesan cheese toasted baguette. Pull apart 
garlic bread is kind of the coup de grace to this whole spinach artichoke dip. Oh my gosh, it's like still smoking hot. Mm. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's cool just to find the really crispy piece of bread that everybody else has sort of picked around. It's just like the perfect little dipping chip. Mm. Mm. Or the little herbs on the bread too to make this really beautiful floral flavor. Everything is just complementing each other. The herbs with the artichokes, the crispy textures with the tender textures. This is just, uh, just a wonderful dip. Mm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Bye everybody.